So the Google Home Max is by far the best sounding speaker in the Google Home family, followed up by the Google Home and lastly, sadly, the Google Home Mini. Granted, it's the smallest, so it wasn't really supposed to sound all that great until now. Google has pushed their update to all their home devices that allow you to pair the speaker to the best sounding Bluetooth speakers you have in your house without the Chromecast. Let's see that intro. Hey, I'm Josh with Gross Tech, and on this channel I make it simple to understand, use, and set up smart home technology, so please consider subscribing. So Google pushed their newest update to the Google Home family, and most importantly, it was the biggest feature for those that own the Mini. And that big feature is being able to pair your Google Homes to any Bluetooth speaker without the use of the Chromecast audio. Now, that means that you could take this little tiny mini for $50 or less and pair it with your Bose speakers, your JBL speakers that you already have at your house. And this tiny little thing can become an amazing sound system. But how does it work? How do you set it up? How do you do it all? Well, that's what this video is all about. So let's get into that. So grab your phone, go ahead and head over to your Google Home app, open that up. Once you open it, you'll want to hit your devices up in the top right corner. It'll bring you up to your devices. The mini is disconnected right now, so uh, all that's listed right now is the Google Home. Grab your speaker, or if you have JBL or Bose, I'm using the Anchor Rugged Outdoor Portable Speaker. If you haven't seen this thing, it is ridiculously amazing, loud and really rugged. I'll link to the video I tested how rugged really is this, but that's up there. Go ahead and make sure your device is on. Hit the three little buttons, go to settings, and scroll down to you see the default speaker. I already have it set for the Anchor S7, which is this, but it should Bluetooth waiting for pairing. be set on the living room home or whatever the name of your thing is. Once you see your device, Bluetooth it, pairing successfully. it will be annoying and tell you that it worked. The voice of Google Home will still come through the speaker itself. So as you'll see, we can say, hey Google, play KNVBC. Streaming KNVBC Revival Radio from TuneIn. So as you saw, the audio still came through your Google Home, whichever one you have paired as far as the voice. The Google Home Assistant will still come through that speaker, but whether you are playing music, news, that kind of stuff will come through now your new speaker, the Bluetooth speaker you paired without having to have a Chromecast audio. You can. This one has the play pause ability on the actual speaker and it still works. And so that is how easy and simple it is to set it up. And if, if you don't want it to continue, maybe uh, the battery dies on that speaker, just go ahead and go back into your Google Home app, go back to the settings, default speaker, change it back Bluetooth to... Bluetooth waiting for pairing. Change it back to the actual device, and there you go. And it will be back. Google, hey Google. Hey Google. Play KNVBC. Streaming KNVBC Revival Radio from TuneIn. In the newfound way, the gospel highway. And it'll start playing back on your original speaker. So that's how easy and simple it is to turn something so tiny and cheap and not really that great of a sounding for music speaker into something that sounds great and awesome. Granted, it's a little outdoor rugged one, but you can pair it with your JBLs, your Bose, your high-end Bluetooth speakers and make this little thing sound amazing or any of your other ones. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw or you got something useful out of it, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, do that as well. Also, over here you'll see some videos uh, from our channels that may be interesting to you to be able to learn some more about using the Google Home or about any other 
smart home tech that we've done and reviewed and used and know how to set up all to help you guys realize how simple home automation and smart home tech really is. My name is Josh with Gross Tech. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.